Hello. Thanks for attending our talk today. I'm going to talk to you about our paper, Developers are Responsible, What Ad Networks Tell Developers About Privacy. This work has been done in collaboration with Camille Vanier. The motivation behind this work comes from massive data collection by ad networks through mobile apps. For example, about 77% of free Android apps contain an ad library and prior work shows that developers tend to pick the default options provided by the ad networks, potentially endangering user privacy. Some ad networks provide options to developers for minimizing data collection and data sharing. For example, by minimizing personalization of ads or by minimizing the level of location data collection. However, it's not clear how the privacy-related information is presented to developers. Our research is driven with one research question. What ad networks tell developers about privacy? We did a walkthrough of four popular ad networks with a senior Android developer looking for privacy-related information. We find that ad networks intentionally or unintentionally use dark patterns to interfere with developers' decision-making. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about a few examples of the dark patterns that we found in ad networks. Please see our paper for more examples. Here is an example. This is a screenshot that the developer sees while trying to integrate ads from Google AdMob. It asks developers to configure Google Analytics and also share more data with other services provided by Google. In the first option, the default setting for sharing data with Google Analytics is already pre-selected by default. And also, it may be hard to tell by just looking at this interface that all those four grayed out items below the first option can also be selected or unselected. These four items will only be turned into a checkbox if the developer unselects the first item. Even after that, the four items will still be pre-selected by default and the developer must unselect all of them to presumably stop sharing data with Google Analytics. This interface enables developers to turn down the level of ads content so that they can present appropriate ads to their users. For example, if a developer picks mature audiences, the ad network can show all types of ads, including topics related to alcohol, weapons, and sexual content. And of course, the default option here is set to mature audiences. When we try to turn it down to, for example, parental guidance, the ad network shows this big red box telling us that we may lose some of our revenue if we try to turn down the level of contents rating. We observe that dark patterns are not limited to graphical interfaces, and they can also appear in code samples. On the right side, you can see the dialogue that we created using the code sample on the left. As you can see, if the user wants to say, no, I disagree with this policy, or I don't want this, they cannot really do so. So if a developer just copy paste this code, the resulting dialogue on the user side doesn't provide any cancel, no, or reject button. This is a potential consequence as prior work shows that developers do copy paste code from online resources. And this code sample is part of an official documentation. So copy pasting shouldn't sound wrong from a developer's perspective. So what are some of the implications of our work? First, we observe that ad networks clearly state in their policies and terms of use that it is developers' responsibility to adhere to the regulations and laws, and it is developers' responsibility to protect user privacy, which is in contrast to what developers think that it is the ad network's responsibility to follow the regulations. We also find that ad networks present privacy information in an inconsistent way. They use different locations, different language, and various options to present privacy-related information which might make it difficult for some developers to control privacy in their apps. Overall, we find that with the current status and the way privacy is presented to developers in ad networks, it might be hard for some developers to make informed decisions for their users' privacy. Therefore, we suggest future research to look at ways to at least minimize the use of dark patterns and also inform developers about the use of dark patterns in ad networks. Thank you very much for listening.